Hello everyone, uh, this is Cyber TV Trend. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, a hard drive and a nice cool um, adapter that I purchased uh, to retrieve the information out of my hard drive. Uh, this hard drive failed multiple times. It was making a lot of noise and uh, wouldn't uh, start up or it was giving me the blue screen of death and uh, many other uh, issues like crashing, etc., etc. So I decided to replace it for an, uh, a new one. So I'm here trying to access it and uh, retrieve uh, some of the information that I have stored in this hard drive. Okay. Um, as you can see, this is the package where it came my adapter. So this is especially uh, designed for SATA or IDE and it's compatible with uh, multiple uh, Windows operating system, and it's supposed to be plug and play, and it's uh, USB 2.0. And it also, it can read uh, hard drive, DVD ROMs, uh, CD ROM, CD RW, CD uh, MBO, and DVD RW. Um, this only cost me uh, $9.99 online. I purchased this off of eBay. Um, it was free shipping and uh, it took about three days to receive my package. So it has arrived, so I'm now I'm excited. So I'm just gonna open it up and test this new adapter. Okay, so let's see what's inside. We have uh, this power adapter with the SATA or actually the Molex, as you can see right there, see the four holes. Let's put this on the side. And this is the power cord. Uh, let's see what this is. This is for the ID, the old models, or if you have an old um, hard drive that you need to retrieve the information. So you have two options on the side. And on top of that, you have the third option. This is for the SAAT uh, um, cable adapter as well. And then you have on the other end, you have the 2.0 USB connection that you can plug this to your computer okay so and let's see what we have here this is the uh, SATA cable remove it from the package and we have another adapter here this is to provide power to your hard drive uh, if you want to uh, uh, um, power up your hard drive and and, and and retrieve the information you are going to need this power cord as well um so now let's find out how we can plug this in so uh the first thing i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna get the molex to sata adapter so um i'm going to um plug it right here in this area all right so let me turn around no the other way okay it's in so now let's get the uh, SATA adapter. Uh, I'm gonna plug it right here on this pot. Let's see, okay, it's in, so I have two cables connected. So now on this other adapter right here where it has the other end, um, the USB uh, connector. So we're gonna plug in the SATA right here it's in okay so this will go connected to my pc and now we need to connect the molex to provide power so i'm just gonna plug it right here uh, let's see i'm hoping i'm connecting it correctly all right let's try again it's not going in Oh, they're kind of bent. They got a really bad quality, so I have to basically wiggle it to make it fit. Okay. All right, it's in. Okay, let me push the wires in. They're kind of loose, though, for being a brand new um, wire. They're kind of loose, so let's 
it's connected now. Uh, now we're gonna get the other end of the power cord and I'm gonna plug it right here. Just like that, push it in and then I'm gonna find a power outlet which is under my uh, desk. Okay, so as you can see right there, there's power. And now I can I could hear the drive starting. Now I'm gonna plug it to my PC, just right there, to the USB. Okay, it's in there. And let's go back to my desktop. Right over here, as you can see, or if you heard, you probably heard um, a USB connected to my PC. All right, so I got multiple windows open there uh, so let's navigate into my hard drive my old hard drive um, I'm just gonna put this on the side and I have to bring up my keyboard and my mouse uh, just allow me a second got my keyboard set up all right so let's navigate through the windows yeah I don't know why it opened uh, multiple windows so I have HPI, HPJ and local disk K so I got three different windows open and I see the recovery one uh, this is the local disk but it's empty so I'm just gonna close this one and let's go where it says HPI and I can see that the user windows and, and not lots of information so let's check double check program files yeah and I see uh, some of my previous uh, applications that I had installed uh, in this hard drive I have uh, Microsoft SQL server right here I have 7-zip uh, I have Oracle unity Defender and many other uh, applications available. So, um, with that being said, I was able to successfully um, access my hard drive. So, I'm gonna continue navigating uh, to see what else, uh, what kind of information I can retrieve out of it. And um, this is it for today. I hope you liked the video. Uh, this is a very straightforward setup and simple. Uh, in case if you want to recover your information, this is the way to do it with this type of adapter that you're seeing right here on my screen. It's only $9.71. Uh, it offers free shipping. Um, just going to go over uh, some of the details of this item. Let's see. Uh, it's, it offers free shipping, ground shipping. Uh, returns policy um, this seller has a good uh, amount of uh, positive rating uh, it, it has 99.6 percent of positive rating so this is the type of sales that you want to purchase from okay so uh, again thank you so much for watching uh, Rick comment or subscribe or if you have any questions feel free to contact me and uh have a nice day bye bye